I've made it to 25. So take that cancer. I made it another three years, two and a half. Hello, it's Samantha. A week ago I turned 25. So today I decided I would make this video to share 25 things I've learned in my 25 years. I feel like this is pretty straightforward. I don't need to explain it very much. So let's just get into it. First thing that I've learned is don't worry about getting older. I've seen so many people my age that have been turning 25 over the past year and they're all like, oh my gosh, I'm so old now. I'm nothing. I can't do anything. I can't have fun anymore. And yeah, at one point I thought that 25 was old, but if you think about in 25 years from now when I'm 50, I'm going to look back and be like 25 wasn't old. And then, you know, 25 years after that when I'm 75, I'm going to be like 50 is not old. And so like every single time in my life when I've thought that I've reached an old age, like when I was 13, I thought I was old because I wasn't considered a kid anymore. And obviously 13 is super young. So you should just enjoy however old you are whenever you are that age and don't let it bother you. Next thing I learned is you should always be kind because you never know what someone else is going through. This is just pretty straightforward. You should just not judge people. There are things that you can't see that some people are going through all the time. So you should just be kind and be understanding and yeah. That's it. Life is too short to worry about matching your socks. When I'm getting dressed in the morning, I don't want to keep looking through my drawer just to find a sock that matches my other sock. Like that's dumb. Why wouldn't I just put on the first two socks that I find? No one's ever going to see unless you take off your shoes. And if you take off your shoes in front of someone, that means that you're comfortable enough with them that they shouldn't care about if your socks are matching. Adults still act like middle schoolers sometimes in lots of ways. They're dramatic, they do mean things behind your back sometimes, they leave people out for no reason. Um, it's kind of crazy the amount of adults that think those things are okay, that like still do those things, but they still do. You never really get away from that. Experiences are better than things. Now this isn't true for everybody, like obviously some people are gonna be more happy with like a brand new television. I'm just always going to be more happy with like a plane ticket. I think that just making memories doing things is just so much more valuable than having expensive things. Take vacation days. No offense to the people that I work with, but so many of them end up with vacation days at the end of the year that they've never used and I'm like why? Take some time for yourself, go do something fun. I know that some people don't have the ability to take massive vacations, but most people can like at least take weekends for themselves and do something for themselves, take a break. Always have emergency chocolate just somewhere in your house or like if you're going on a trip somewhere like I was mentioning before, take emergency chocolate with you or some sort of emergency candy because you never know who you're going to be with and sometimes when you're on a vacation with people, they don't value dessert as much as you do. And so you need to have extra emergency chocolate so you can always have chocolate available when you need it. It's a, it's a very important tip that I've learned. No one really has their life together. Everyone's really just making stuff up as they go along and there's no age that you get to or point in your life where you're, you're there, you've made it, you know what you're doing. Like nobody, no, you don't know. No one knows. Live in the moment you are in. Don't stay stuck in the past. I've been guilty of this before because it takes me so long to get used to something new that I kind of wish that things were back the way that they used to be. But no, because then you're gonna get to that future and you're gonna look back and you'll be like, why didn't I enjoy that while I had it? So don't do that. Also, don't look to the future. Don't be like, oh my gosh, like things will be so much easier once this happens. Obviously, I don't mean like if you're depressed, stay depressed, but like, you know what I'm saying. The pain scale at the doctor's office is stupid. Like, how do I know my pain compared to someone else's pain? I don't know what a one on the pain scale feels like. I don't know what a 10 on the pain scale feels like. If I never get to feel what a 10 feels like, how will I know where I am relative to that pain? Doesn't make any sense. Enjoy your body while it's healthy because things can always get worse. When I was sick with cancer, I couldn't do any of the things that I enjoyed doing and I was looking at all these people who were like, oh, I wish I weighed 10 pounds lighter. And I'm like, yeah, you can like have goals, but you should still enjoy your body when it's healthy while you have it. Your health can always get worse. So 
yeah, just think about that. Pandemic or no pandemic, don't cut yourself off from the people you love. I know that the pandemic was a crazy time and it was a scary time, um, but I can't tell you how many times I heard of people just shutting themselves in, not talking to family members, just shutting themselves in their houses. I'm like, that's, that's not good. You should never do that, even if there is a pandemic, um, because you never know how long someone's gonna be around, you never know how long you're gonna be around. So, yeah. Keep in touch with your family. <laughs> Anything you do is going to offend someone, so stop trying to please everybody. You should just be who you are because it really doesn't matter. You can think that you're doing the smallest thing, it's going to offend somebody. So just live your life and don't care about the other people. Marriage is awesome, so don't let anybody tell you that it isn't. You're never too young. I have a video about this on my channel, like too young for cancer. When I was diagnosed, everyone was telling me, oh my gosh, you're so young. You're too young. You're never too young for anything. It's really about the things that you've gone through. Are you too young to get married? No, you're not too young to get married. If you're in that place in your life, then you're in that place in your life. Like you shouldn't do things based off an age. You should do things based off of the place you are in life. People care about you more than you realize. This is another thing that I realized after I got diagnosed. I got so many cards, so many letters. Try to realize that without having something like that happen to you. I shouldn't have had to get cancer for me to realize that. Just think about how much you love somebody that you love. The other people think that about you as well. It's okay to be selfish, but just don't like be a jerk, obviously. You have to worry about yourself and stick up for yourself sometimes. You can't just always be trying to make other people happy because if you're not happy yourself, then you can't make someone else happy. So it's okay to be selfish sometimes, obviously, like it's not okay to be too selfish, but don't forget that you're important too. Freckles are so cool that in 2021, people actually draw freckles on their faces as like a makeup look instead of trying to cover them up. Look at my freckles. Those are real freckles. They're not, they're not made up. I knew so many people that were like trying to hide their freckles and now all of a sudden people are drawing freckles on? What? Freckles are cool and they always have been. <laughs> Try to understand both points of view, but like actually understand them. Oh, this person thinks this because they're a horrible human being. No, people aren't just horrible human beings. I mean, some people are. There is a reason that somebody thinks something and it's not because they're a horrible person. Maybe they're led to think that because of something. Understand both sides. Understand both points of view and then form your opinion. A lot of times, a lot of things, there isn't one answer. There isn't one thing that's correct. Grade school teachers, like high school and middle school, elementary school, they assign way too much homework nowadays. Like insane amounts of homework. I was up until 4 a.m like every single night when I was in high school. My mom would let me take off a day of school in the middle of the week sometimes because it would get to be too much. They don't realize you have a bunch of other classes with another teacher assigning the same amount of homework. Like it's, it's too much. Sleep is important, so make sure you sleep, especially if your teachers are just assigning you a ridiculous amount of homework. You're never really too old for stuffed animals. They're always kind of cute, especially fox stuffed animals. And like, if you're feeling sick, you can like hug them. It, it helps when you're feeling nauseous all the time, like I do, because I'm on medication for cancer. Oh yeah, cancer sucks. So, that. People who purposely exclude other people are not good people to hang out with. I can't tell you how many times it happened in college. Like, I'm disappointed in how many times that happened in college. So, don't surround yourself with those kinds of people. Let the buddies do what they want. It's my life motto. A buddy is anybody in the world, basically, and you should just let people live their lives and they'll let you live your lives and stop worrying about other people, stop worrying about what they think. Um, if they haven't asked you for advice, don't give them advice. If somebody's just living their life, not like hurting anybody or anything like that, then just let them live their life. There is a difference between believing something and accepting something. You can be accepting of different people and different ways of life without believing that that is correct or true. 
Say there's like one thing you believe and another thing someone else believes, but they contradict each other. You can still be friends with that person. You can still be accepting of that person's way of life, but you cannot agree with them. Ways of thinking contradict all over the place. So there's no way for you to believe everything is true. So you have to look at both sides of view, like I said before, figure out what your opinion is, but then also be accepting of the other side. You can't judge other people and you can't be sure what you think is perfectly true either. You basically just have to go around, let the buddies do what they want and just be accepting of people, don't judge people, try not to because it's really hard not to and um, just live your life. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, give it a like because it helps our channel a lot and check out some of the other videos with Gray and stuff. He doesn't really like doing sit down videos like this and also I'm the one that turned 25 and not him. So yeah, that's all, bye.